So you can see, as I've been saying, as as the carcass gets less and less, sometimes the aggression gets more and more. Where there's a lot of meat, there's not a lot of pressure for them uh, to uh, fight over what's left. But now there's not much meat left, and they know they're probably going to have to move off sometime, possibly this evening. So everyone's trying to make the most out of all the meat that's left. So the aggression is definitely going to rise amongst the lions now. We've noticed now that that big Matimba male has moved off. The rest of the pride has got in and started feeding. And Joe on Twitter said, knows but the lioness has done the hunting, um, but gets the last say in the eating. Um, what is a male lion's purpose apart from mating? Well, Joe, it's, it's, it's actually quite an interesting thing. And, and quite often, if the males are with uh, a pride, they are very instrumental in bringing down big prey like buffalo, giraffe, hippo. The lionesses are capable, and Junior's doing the sneak. Um, they are capable of, of bringing down without an adult male lion, as we saw with the Nguma pride. But uh, the male lion's other purpose, main purpose apart from mating, is, is very important. So they will dominate an area and they will stop other male lions coming in. Because if other male lions come in, um, you are going to get constantly cubs being killed because the male lions will want the females to come into estrus and start breeding their, cub, their cubs, their offspring. So probably one of the more important things, oh, Junior, um, is to keep the area devoid of other male lions that would kill their prodigy and progeny and the, and the lioness's cubs. Uh, that is possibly the most important. As we can see, there's a lot of feeding and a little bit of aggression still going on. And Noreen is wondering, what is the protocol? Oh, Noreen, I'll get your question in a second. As Junior gets in, the aggression might step up a notch. putting his head right inside that rib cage. It's quite a clever maneuver because it's less likely to be hit when you've got ribs above you. Marina, I will get to your, your question shortly, but while we've got this really interesting dynamic going on with the feeding, and it'll make a lot of sense when I answer, but we're just going to listen to these incredible sounds from the lions for a bit.
isn't this noise incredible, guys? Um, 